Hello, buddy. My name is Eric, and today we're going to look at the dangers of misspelling website links, which you might think, what's the big deal? Well, you would be wrong. So there are a lot of people who do what's called typo swatting, which is the practice of purchasing domains designed to take advantage of typos. So as an example, we're on YouTube.com. What if we ended up on YouTube.com instead? Now, smart companies will oftentimes buy very similar domains to some degree avoid that. Uh, a common one is like, if we go here, where, where do we end up? richvideos.com. Now, this is the more innocent version of this, which is called domain parking, where you simply take a domain name and you impersonate it with the goal of generating ad revenue. It's still a pretty sketchy thing to do, but it's not going to kill anyone or hack their computer. Some typo squat links are quite a bit more dangerous. This one appears to have actually gone to the real Amazon because they're buying... There's even companies you can hire that will buy similar domains. Here's a fake Reddit domain. Now this is interesting. These guys have basically set up a fake Reddit domain, which they're using just to funnel some random news site. I can't imagine what the intention other than maybe some sort of ad revenue or I know there's a type of um, ad fraud that basically you trick you trick people into thinking that you're a different website and the result is that you get premium adverts and you can make a lot of money per Facebook.com just goes to Facebook as does FCA book. So Facebook have been really proactive here. FB.com obviously is going to go to Facebook. So that's another one. A common one is Steam.com from a few years ago, which originally went to a company called Steam Inc. Valve finally got the domain, but it appears it's gone back to redirecting to something else. Saw.com. Because I know for decades. So, Steam.com is for sale. I imagine they would want an absolutely insane amount of money for that. And you probably couldn't really do much legally with the domain. But I could just imagine someone buying that and turning that into a horrible fishing site. Because that's the other thing that can happen is you can get something where it's a relatively convincing fishing site. So we can do... Hey, uh, PayPal, do PayPal.com. Where's that going? Possibly nowhere. That's quite a bit off, but actually, that was. Oh, okay, that's a legitimate website that just has a similar name. Now, PalPay.com could also. You could confuse that. Ooh, this is a sketchy looking one, but it's just. Okay, it's just another domain parking. Okay, now if we click on these. Maybe there's some sort of affiliate set up. Get started. Shopify. Yeah, this looks like some sort of AdSense set up. Now, as far as I know, AdSense does not allow this type of thing. So they are breaking AdSense terms of service, but otherwise, whatever. There was an infamous, there's been a couple infamous ones. Goggle.com, I know used to be something bad, but I think that's been dealt with. Google. Yeah, Google bought the domain. Which is good. What about uh, sptfi.com? That was a legitimate typo. And that is going to what appears to be a legitimate finance cryptocurrency exchange website. However, if we look, we can see the affiliate number here. Someone is actually making money off of this typo. Now, I cannot imagine someone actually looking at this and deciding, you know what, I'm going to sign up for Binance. But, you know, maybe a one in one million people might do it, and that might be enough to incentivize this behavior. I don't know. That seems really um, interesting. Now, let's, thinking of crypto, let's try some crypto exchanges. That's a pretty easy one. Coinglass.com. 
I thought coin glass was like an action. Who's coin glass? Is that actually something? But of course, it goes to... Now, that is a small one. That one is really, really small because you're basically... Someone's already typing Binance, so they already want to go to Binance. And, okay, let's try coinbase.com. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Variants of Coinbase. And that's going to a very seedy looking website. But it, once again, might even, that one might even be an official uh, Coinbase one. But there we go. So nothing too malicious. So far, we haven't found anything too problematic. Just a bunch of very um, sneaky ad campaigns. Okay, now this one's interesting. It's not secure. Okay, this is just, this is um, just someone who uh, bought the domain windows10.com. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. They're, they're really raging at Windows 10 and they must have, they must have bought this domain before Microsoft announced. I, I want to see, I want to see when this domain was bought. 2004. That's pretty amazing because that was before the Windows numbering naming scheme was even revived. So whoever bought this domain in the year 2004 and now uses it to get vengeance on Microsoft, I think that's pretty cool. Let's try, let's try CNET. Let's try nset.com. That should be, that should be a fake CNET. Oh, GoDaddy bought it. Well, we know, we know what this is going to be. You could almost, you could legitimately start a, your own tech news site on that. And, you know, people might not even realize what you're, what you're planning. Now, so far, I've not been finding too much in terms of misspellings, but there's sort of a related variant of this where they don't directly get you to make a typo. Instead, what they do is they get you on a legit looking domain, either through Google. Google image search, for whatever reason, is filled with fake tech support scams. So what we'll end up with if we go on this site is someone pretending to be Microsoft support. We've got a bunch of numbers we could call to get Microsoft support. And if you've ever watched a Jim Browning video, then you know what would happen if we were to call these guys. This is not Microsoft. This is Oh, and here, here they admit it. They're like, we're Microsoft support, but oh no, we're not. We're an independent online technical support. <sighs> you know, you're not, you're not Microsoft. Oh, let's try some Skype variants. Because that's something that tends to be pretty popular with boomers. This is, I don't get why so many domain registrars are registering these. Because what do you think the person who buys this is going to do with it? They're not going to do anything honest with it. Here we go. Site. Okay first piece of malware like over 10 minutes in the video and we finally did it add extension to chrome privacykeeper.net immediately wait so it's, it's getting rid of adult content why would it <laughs> why would you want this i don't get it like if you're clearly you install this yourself do you oh oh this is that vmware you, you, you've somehow installed this yourself and decided that you are concerned that you you just can't help yourself from trying... Okay. And then it redirects you to Skype. Okay, that's probably the cleverest one I've seen yet. Because it worked really, really well. And now we probably won't think anything's wrong. Now let's just try what they were saying there. there. Okay. So it does at least... Okay, and it does. Okay. Oh. I can't I can't read the pop-up because of graphics, but okay, let's try something that definitely is okay. Let's go for like Minecraft. And we go to our regular search. So I think what it's doing is hijacking searches when you search for certain keywords and sending them on a different one. So not not a useful or legitimate extension, I would not trust it. Let's get rid of this. Oh, it's already disabled itself. So it changes you to myprivacykeeper.com. Web protection for Chrome. Intelligently 
these guys put like a fair amount of effort into this. So are they trying to showcase the scum therapy problem here? Because like, I'm pretty sure they're showcasing the scum therapy problem where something that sounds like or contains characters from offensive language can be miscategorized as offensive language. Just need to get to online websites safely faster. Thank you for applying this extension on the Chrome web store. That's a fake. A scam put a shortcut to Nintendo. We do not redirect traffic. Yes, you do. Use the spam tactics to get this installed. Let's see if it's probably like it's a slight misspelling, I imagine. Imagine if I guessed this on my first try. Why is it? Okay, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get what good redirect me to Bing there did for them. Another one of these traffic junction. So, once again, this is a relatively harmless, although I imagine profitable use of typo squatting. In 10. Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Um, Nintendo. Because Nintendo seems to be a hot one. That's interesting. Now we can click on these. We can, do, uh, we can try Nintendo as well, though. Oh, I added a C that I didn't mean to add. Well, that's it's a natural typo. Uh, what on earth is this? North Texas Endon Ticks Association. We ended up on some weird... <laughs> I wonder how much random traffic they get from people misspelling Nintendo. But this looks legitimate. Endodontics? I honestly... Oh, root canal treatments. I was going to say, I don't know what that means, but that's what it means. Okay. Let's see. Let's think. Um, we can do Amazon a bit. Or no, actually, let's do eBay. Because that's a relatively short name, so there's not as many options. Ebya. Oh. Seems like they, they shut this down. Okay. EA.com. That might actually be... A legitimate website. No, that's that's the type of squatter. This one could quite easily happen. Okay. This is, this is fairly small. These guys are shilling their stupid e-com course on an eBay type of squad. It's been created inside of Explain a Dome. These uh, J they're called like JV. Make money online scams are ridiculous. I've seen a lot of these. And you can just tell within a minute that this is going to be a bunch of rubbish. Videos. Any kind of video you want. I assume this is supposed to be a human text to speech or a very bad voiceover artist. I actually can't tell which one. I honestly can't believe these stupid internet marketing scam videos are still going because these were like, I remember when I was pretty young this was a huge thing like how is this still going do people still fall victim to this rubbish this is absolutely devoid of any thing it is completely useless you will never make any money buying this rubbish and you honestly won't make much money shilling this rubbish either because most people are smart enough to know that this is complete tat so i think that's going to be all for this video what we found overall Malware from typo squatting is relatively rare nowadays. Scams and marketing are seem to be more common.